Hey everyone, Casey Love here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I painted the Power Slave from Iron Maiden by Sideshow, taking it from this to this. Let's start rocking. My initial reaction when I saw we were doing Iron Maiden pieces was like, yeah, right, there's no way. And then it was true. And then it was like, this is gonna be insane. So I was, uh, I, I kind of knew that they would come in, into my lap because of the fact that I'm a monster guy and I, and I love monster stuff. Eddie is this, this sort of mummified creature and he's portrayed in all these different ways throughout the album covers. Sideshow knows I'm a metalhead, so I kind of figured it's gonna be a marriage of the two. When I first start pieces, there's a tendency to overthink them. Because also with Iron Maiden and stuff and with any artwork like this, anytime you look up reference, you're gonna get different variation in color of that reference. You know, some are brighter, some are darker. So we, we kind of just agreed on one that we liked, let it be a guideline, and let's go from there. And I just base out what I think is the most prominent color that seems to be the base color. And I start with that for Power Slave you know, it was kind of a very dead green tone, you know, but very light. So I could work other colors on top of it. Obviously with the mummy wrapping and all that, that that's just a texture. So how do I bring across what's in the album cover? There's some staining, These, this isn't new, this is old wraps, the wraps are worn in. So that stuff's easy, it's just washes and things. But it, I have to look past all the detail of the painting and just break it down into steps. And you know, along the way it's, me and the art directors and project managers talking through, hey, what's working here, what's not working? What, where do we wanna push, what don't we wanna push? And a lot of times, keep in mind that the painter is so on top of the piece, much like a sculptor is looking at this thing all day long, you don't have fresh eyes all the time. So it's good to get other people to look at it because they're not sitting there in front of it all day. They can tell you and see what's working, not working. I had to rework the portrait several times because I was overworking it originally and, and doing too much. And sometimes that's what you think you need to do, but then you need to just look at the artwork, realize these are the hot spots, these are the dark spots, this is this, and just simplify your process to better achieve what's there. And that's what I did with Power Slave. I think the difficulty in painting Iron Maiden pieces is obviously Sideshow has a look and a style and a an aesthetic. But you have to look at the art from the album that Iron Maiden has, has used to portray the ideas and the look of the band and who they are and the identity. So my job is to try to bring that to life and marry that with the sideshow aesthetic. So as we were working on this piece, originally I thought the base would be in full color, but the idea actually was to monotone the base. You know, it was a careful decision to make sure that we don't take away from the bust, but we set the bust off properly. Here we're shading down the bottom of the base, and the reason for that is to settle the base into any environment that the piece is displayed. If the base ends in a light tone, then you get this harsh ending, but if we shade it down, then you end up with a nice blend off, no matter what shelf you have it on or wherever it's being displayed. This project was special to me, mainly because I've been an Iron Maiden fan even before high school. Just was something that caught my attention early on in life like Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner or Power Slave, you know, that I can get in a mood or, or a zone with listening to those songs and they, and they help inspire me to, to do the art that I do. So to be able to, many years later, work on a project that pays tribute to all these memories that I had growing up is definitely very special to me. So now that it's finished and I look at back on it and I look at what I've done, 
and what we've achieved as a team, um, I think we've made some very smart, clever decisions. And I think there's just that dynamic vibe that I saw as a kid on the album cover. It just, when I see it, it reminds me of those times, uh, seeing the album cover, having the album in my hand and just looking at this artwork, you know, with all this lightning and this mummified Eddie coming out of the ground and the power behind that image married with the power slave bust it's it's it looks incredible i think it's a striking piece and a beautiful piece of iron maiden history married with sideshow and there it is the finished piece If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to see more behind the scenes videos from Sideshow. 